I think I've lost my faith in companies choosing to do the right or responsible thing. Mm. You know, I think we've heard a lot in the past few years, you know, as some of the momentum around climate has slowed down about compromise, right? We need to we need to compromise. We need to find solutions that work, you know, not just for citizens, but companies as well and, and their shareholders. When we hear compromise, we're not talking about evenly distributed compromise. We're not talking about companies compromising on their profits. We're not talking about CEOs compromising on their million dollar salaries. We're talking about everyday people compromising on our future. We're talking about people compromising their right to clean air, clean water. We're talking about people being willing to compromise and consume microplastics so that these companies don't have have to be held accountable. And so when we hear the word compromise, we're effectively hearing a get out of jail free card for these corporations. Now, also in the news this week, Exxon Mobil, uh, we have the CEO coming out and saying, hey guys, you know, stop pointing the finger at fossil fuel companies. Um, it's actually the responsibility of citizens. You know, if people were just willing to pay a bit more for sustainable energy, we'd be able to address the climate crisis. Now, Exxon is one of five companies that in 2022 made over 200 billion US dollars in profit while people died from heat in the summer and from cold in the winter because they were unable to afford their energy bills. In the same week, we had the CEO of Kellogg's coming out and saying, I have a great idea for addressing food poverty, the fact that people can't afford their um, meals at the end of each week. Do you know what they should do? They should have cereal for dinner. <laughs> so companies are not just amoral. Actually, we'd be in a much better position mm. if companies were neutral. Companies are actively doing everything they can to sustain the systems, the economic systems, that will continue to allow a small number of people to profit at the expense of the billions of people on this planet. And so that is why we need activism to challenge these systems of power, to hold them accountable, and to change the social license so that these corporations are no longer able to operate completely unfettered and unregulated.